Welcome to Joe's Classroom and in this video I am going to explain how you can sketch a polar plot or the Nyquist plot in control systems using a PDF reader especially the Foxit reader. Let us consider the transfer function shown here and let us assume that this is an open loop transfer function of a system for which we are interested to sketch the polar plot. The first step is to get the sinusoidal transfer function g of j omega. It is obtained just by replacing s by j omega. When you do that, each term in the transfer function is converted to a complex number and therefore you can find out the magnitude and the angle of the entire g of j omega. We all know that for any complex number, the magnitude of the complex number is given by square root of a square plus b square where a is the real part and b is the imaginary part and if you apply that we get the magnitude of the g of j omega as given here. Uh, similarly, angle of any complex number is obtained by tan inverse of b by a. Also, if z1 and z2 are two complex numbers, then the angle of their product is obtained by adding their angles and the angle of z1 by z2 is obtained by angle of z1 minus angle of z2. Using this, angle of g of j omega is obtained as shown. Now, we can use these two expressions to create a table in which we have magnitudes and angles of g of j omega for different frequencies. When you work out the table, you should see that you start from zero radians per second and end at infinity. The angles corresponding to zero and infinity will be always multiples of 90 degrees. And the selection of the frequencies in between may vary from system to system and they have to be chosen in such a way that the magnitudes, all the magnitudes that is obtained could be accommodated in the given polar graph with a reasonable scale. And also you should ensure that you get adequate number of points to get a smoother polar plot. You can always download the soft copy of a polar graph from this website incompetech.com. One such downloaded polar graph is opened in Foxit Reader here. In a polar graph, a complex number is plotted in polar form with its magnitude and angle. The angles are marked by the radial lines or the spokes and the concentric equidistant circles represents the magnitude. So this is what is shown now. And if you want to mark a point, complex number 1, angle 20 degree, let us assume that the first circle represents a magnitude 1. Then to mark one angle 20 degree, you have to go to 20 degree spoke and pick up the point which is intersecting with the circle representing the magnitude of 1. So this is the point which will be representing one angle 20 degree. So in this, in this way, you can mark any complex number. To sketch our polar plot for the required transfer function, let us copy the table which we had already prepared by control C, control V, that is copy paste. You can do that. So once you place this table in a convenient place, you can start sketching the polar plot. Looking at the table, we understand that the angles are there as negative values. So let us mark all the angles in clockwise direction, that is the negative direction also. We can use the typewriter tool in the command menu for this purpose. Now we get all the angles both in the clockwise as well as anti-clockwise directions. Also, now if you look at the magnitudes other than infinity, it ranges from 0 to 83. You can see that there are eight concentric circles and let us take a scale such that each circle starting from first one represents magnitude from 0, 20, 30 and up to 80. Once these are marked, we are ready to sketch the polar plot. The first point is at infinity but on minus 90 degree spoke. So I cannot mark that point so that for I can leave it and I can go for the next point. That is at 83 and minus 94 degrees. We know that the outer circle represents a magnitude of 80 and the angle of 
minus 94.8 that's almost minus 95 degree comes somewhere here so the point lies somewhere here so to mark the points i'm going to use the character x you can use the common menu and typewriter tool for that you can zoom the graph that is advantage with the soft copies and if you want to change the position slightly you can do that once the first point is marked you can go to the second point next point that is 27 magnitude and angle 104 minus 104 degree comes yeah somewhere here and the second circle corresponds to 20 degree sorry 20 magnitude and the 27 should be somewhat close to 30 magnitude circle and yeah somewhere the point should come somewhere here it is 27 magnitude and angle 104 minus 104 degrees that's done you can do the minor adjustments then the third point is 1318 that is 10 circle and 113 yeah it will come somewhere here there yeah, it is 118 118 angle is 118 and the magnitude is 13 yeah it comes somewhere there then the point is 9.3 127 minus 127 9.3 should be somewhat close to 10 circle 10 yeah so the point comes exactly there yeah you can move it correctly inside this uh, 10 inside the 10 circle yeah correct right done and we can move to the second next point the next point is magnitude is 7 the angle is minus 135 7 and 135 okay so you can copy it or you can type it again yeah it comes there 7 magnitude is 7 and the next point is 2.5 with a angle 168 2.5 and yeah 168 comes here there 168 degrees and the magnitude is 2.5 yes it should be somewhat closer yeah just check whether it is there in the right point yeah then the point is 1 and the angle is somewhat close to 190 minus 190 it is above this minus 180 degree line and it is very close to 0 also okay so that is 1 minus 191 and the next point is minus 235 degrees and it's point one the point one is should be very very close okay but the angle is 235 minus 235 so it should be very close to zero and may not be we may not be able to exactly place it but approximately you can place it all the other values you know it will be difficult to place uh, mark in the graph and you can leave it but only thing is the look at the angles it is as the magnitude reaches zero the angle reaches minus 270 degrees so that means this graph or the plot the points reach the origin through the minus 270 degrees so since the points are marked you can start you know connecting the points you can use the pencil tool in the command menu and you can connect it if you want you can zoom yeah connect connect all the points are connected yeah please see that the curve enters to the origin through the minus 270 degree spoke the graph starts at minus 90 degree crosses minus 180 degree axis and enters the origin through minus 270 degree axis that's how a polar plot is sketched i hope you understood it well if it's so you may Comment, subscribe and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.